Hey guys, my name is Oxide and today I'm going to show you guys how to add icons to your server groups. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with the advanced permission system and the non-advanced permission system. Now obviously, as you've seen in the title, it's with Photoshop. Now my Photoshop I'm using is Photoshop CS6 extended version. Uh, if you have a different version, it should look practically the same and everything should work the same. If not, uh, there's probably other videos out there that will show you how how it works but it's generally the same thing now first of all you're I'm gonna tell you one thing here you are gonna need to be the server admin or have permissions to modify this type of stuff because if you're just like a guest in someone's team speak you're probably not gonna be able to do this you know so uh, yeah be owner server admin admin to do this if it's of course applied you know so what we're going to want to do, if you are a server admin or had those type of permissions, do do this stuff, you're going to go to permissions, server groups. Now I have the advanced system on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off real quick and go to the non-advanced first. And to find out, you know, settings, options, application, right there. And that's how you get to the server groups and everything. We don't need that right now. First of all, obviously, sorry if it's kind of cut off, you're going to go and find an image. So let's, uh, for instance, I don't know. I don't know, let's say Obama. Now, if you want a certain image, but like it does that, takes you to a web page for some reason, there is this great program called uh, IESO. It's like a screen capture, as you see in there. And it should open up like this. Save image. And it, keep in mind, it the image needs, it has to be PNG. If it is not PNG, for my Photoshop at least, it won't work, and I'm guessing for others it won't work. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't open up JPEG images in the Photoshop, only PNG in the CS6 extended version. Name it Obama. And it saves. Now go down to Photoshop. File. Open. Just filter. Obama open. Now once you have this here, uh, you're going to go to image, image size. Now it has to be 16 by 16. It cannot be anything else but pixels too, by the way. 16 by 16. Now make sure this is unchecked. Make sure this is checked and that it is uh, bib cubic automatic. Bib cubic automatic. Okay. Now, don't worry if it does that. It's supposed to do that. Now you're gonna like the file, save for web or render, and then it doesn't matter. Just look at my prefixes right here and everything. Make sure this is progressive, maximum, and just kind of maximize your screen and check if everything looks the same. So go over over some JPEG, progressive, maximum, like that, save. Now you can save it as Obama or Obama S. And then save it to your desktop, save, and there you go. You don't need Photoshop anymore or the Chrome browser. Now here it is right there. Now I can seem speak permissions, server group, and then you'll see the icon right here. Good icon, then upload, and then you'll see Obama. 
and then you're gonna see it. No, it's not one click, it's double click. There we go, I kind of applied. But I don't want that icon though. Want my icon. Now, again, if you want to make it like a guest, something to where it doesn't have power as server admin, you want to go to guest, you want to copy, you know, right click and then copy, and then name it whatever you want to name it. Mama. Okay, and then it should put it on the bottom of the list, or depending on how many other server groups you have. You're gonna see the icon, and then you're just gonna look for Obama. Double click, and then icon apply, and then you can close that out. Now with the advanced permission system options, application, advanced permission system, apply. Okay permissions, server group, and then again if you want it for like server admin, you're going to go to group, and then you'll see icon ID. Double click it, and then it'll bring you up to the same menu like the non-advanced permission system, and then click on it, whatever you want it to be. Double click, and then just hit close to save it, basically. Now if you, again, if you want to copy it, same thing, right click, copy, Obama, You know, should put it at the bottom. Now, with the advanced permission system, it's a little, it's a little different. You're gonna go to that, and click on it. You're gonna find Obama. Double click it so it's Obama, and then this has to be checked. Make sure this group is permanent. Make sure just double click it. You know. So it, it's like that. It's all grayed out. You're gonna double click it, and then there you go and then close that out but and that's how you do it and then to add the server group to you you're gonna click on yourself or a friend or who may who have you you're gonna go to set server group and this whole list should come up now you want to put on the Obama perm and there you go and it's the same thing with removing it and that's how you do it uh, thank you for watching guys. That is the end of the video. If you want me to go over anything else in TeamSpeak, little tips and tricks uh, that can save you some time, let me know. If you want me to go over you some, some permission systems, like if you guys want to set certain permissions and everything, uh, it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning, but I'll make a video for basic understanding of it. So whatever you guys want me to do, or if I left out any details or need any more help, please comment down below in the comment section. But besides that, thank you for watching. It's been Oxide. Have a nice day. Peace. Go check out my main channel. How do I stop this thing? There we go.